Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Minecraft on the Stone Legion server and if you'd like to join us, check the link in the description. So today we are doing our part 2 of Tinko's Construct and we're going to be looking into um, doing the other start of Tinker's. We made the smell tree, kind of went backwards in a way. Most people start with the, the wooden and basics but I kind of went to the smell tree right away just because it made it easier. I was putting some iron in here so we can drain this. But um, today we're going to look into the more wooden stuff, like the tool table, things like that, uh, which are going to be kind of important to us and important to me. So, um, yeah, let's let's go on with this. So, uh, I think the first thing we're going to need to do is get some wood. I don't know how much wood we need. We probably need some logs as well. And we're going to make a tool table here of some sort. We're going to make these guys... Um, oh, good, we have the sticks here. So we're actually set. So we're going to get... Uh, well, not the crafting table. Uh, we're going to need to make a bunch of these. Let's just do that many. And then we're going to need a stencil table. We're going to need... Uh, I want to upgrade the to a tool forge eventually. Why can't I make a tool forge yet? Oh, I never made a tool station. Oh, why can't I make a tool station? Did I want this, actually? I think it might have. Ah. There you go. So you can make a, a, a crafting table that's on like a like standing up kind of cute thing instead. Um, do, 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 do. I didn't see what it was. Was it this? Oh, cool. You can make even a compact version now. There you go. Tool station. So I'll show you those two. So... Uh, we're just going to throw them here. This is, of course, not the more appropriate uh, method of doing this, but for now, that's what we're doing. Uh, oh, yeah, we could definitely do that. Uh, so this is the tool station, and this is the stencil. It's basically how you craft some of the recipes. So if you go like this, uh, you can go ahead and uh, craft things. Um, you can use this tool forge to get a better idea. This looks like it might have been redone and over time. Things look a little different. Too bad they don't give you names though when you hover over it because you don't know if that's what you want. Like it might be like, no, I don't. Oh, good. Oh, okay, so it tells you there. That's good. And it doesn't auto craft it. And then here is the tool station, but uh, that's not quite what we need. We need uh, parts. Stencil table. I thought there was a parts builder, but did they change one block down maybe? Huh. Stencil parts. Oh no, there's the parts builder. There we go. There we go. It's like I'm pretty sure there was something else we had to build. There we go. The parts builder. Ta-da. Here we go. Okay, so uh, the idea is you make your, your weapon or armor or whatever. Uh, do they have, they have some weird armor I think now. Um, but uh, and then you do your thing so we decide what we want to make um, usually I like to just make the big bulky things the expensive things um, and to see what I want to really make it's probably better that we upgrade this table this is the tool station you see how many station tools it has now there's a there's basically a upgraded edition which I'm gonna make now and uh, I, I recommend just upgrading it if you can afford it right away just because it's easier um, there's an iron version. There you go. And yeah, it costs a bit of iron blocks. You can make it out of other materials, even cheaper ones probably, but whatever. And now you can see it's a bunch of them. So, uh, the best one I like to build, my very first one's a lumber axe. I like to make it just a crappy stone one. Stone one, you don't need much because it's kind of easy. Actually, you know what? I might make the hammer because I need some stone, to be honest, to make more stuff. So you're going to see the looks of them. Um... So basically we just go to our parts thing here and we try to figure out what they are here and then we see uh, this guy here and then you have to look for the heavy duty one of these, the tough rod, even though it looks different shape there, at least there it kind of matches up to it. And then you go over here and then you start feeding it things like cobblestone for example. So uh, oh, you put them on that side and you put this here and you're going to need two of these for that one. And then you're going to need uh, the arm here. And hopefully we have enough just for the head. And sadly, we didn't have enough for the head. No big deal. We'll just go get some more iron here. Probably need, or sorry, uh, more stone. Probably needed a couple more. And hopefully we get just enough for what we need. 
So doo -doo -doo, push that up there and boom. So there you go. And then you go to this puppy and you put this here and you kind of just put in the pieces like a puzzle piece. Now you can mix and match different metals. That's the cool part of the mod. Uh, you can shift and you can see their damage variables, etc. The cool thing about the stone one is that if you build the head with stone, you can repair it with stone. Not only that, it has something called, uh, where is the word I'm looking for, stonebound I think it is. Oh, there it is, stonebound. So it actually gets a little faster the more you use it. The tooltip there might have been more confusing, but look at the speed right now, 1.6 it says. That's an easy way of doing it. And let's go ahead and use it for a few times here to get an idea. And uh, so we just get at a good level here. There you go. So the nice thing about this tool is it does AOE. It does a 9x9. Nine nine. Sometimes it derps up, as you can see there. I'm not sure why it's derping up there, but uh, there you go. It works as, as needed, you know. You can tell we're, we're definitely mining a little faster than what we normally mine at. There you go. Cool, huh? And you can actually, I think this has to be at the beginning and end like this. So if you're on the hammer, you can right click, yeah, and it'll place the torch down. And uh, that works really, really handy, if you ask me. Um, so that's the hammer. Pretty damn impressive, if you ask me. So the next one we want to build is the lumber axe, and the lumber axe is just as beautiful in a way. Um, so you guys will love this a lot, I'm sure. I'm positive it. So let's go ahead and get our cobblestone up here. So make a plate. We'll make the tool piece here. And we need to make, I feel like we're missing one. Oh no, that one had a different recipe. Um, we need to make the stencil for the big X and the stencil for this here, I'm pretty sure. Broadhead, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the broadhead. You can see the cost of it, eight material cost here. Um, and then, of course, yeah, this puppy here. And I feel like we might be missing something, but at the same time, I don't know. Or did we never make the plate? I might have derped up and never made the plate. Oh, yeah, we did. It's blended in there. Uh, okay, so we go in here, and we get the broad axe. This one will make you guys giggle. If you've never seen this before, you will find this slightly overpowering and also very hot. I just said that. So we go over here and we go and cut this and it will go boom. Of course, we already know we have that leaf decay super fast anyways on right now. But the idea is it you, you break the one and it mines all the way up for you and you can break it down even faster. Now, downside is it will only do like a three by three or something like that for something like that. We have to use a different method on that for now. But uh, for other larger size trees, it incinerates them it's it's beautiful in fact you know what let's go over to that one thumb craft tree if we can get there without getting owned i know it's getting late out right now Maybe we'll eat on our way here remember that big thumb craft tree that we got the nest was a couple episodes again go uh, again a couple episodes again um but uh yeah this thing will own that but remember the durability gets hit quite a bit um uh, for every block well, it's, it's different for all the tools, speed. There's a bit of different math on it. But in the sense is, if you break nine blocks or one block, it's, it's, it calculates that in a way. So it's like kind of the same. So boom. Oh, well, my tool completely broke. So I kind of screwed myself because it probably did not make it all the way up there. Yeah. Or, or I didn't trigger something else. I'm not sure. I can't tell now, but... We kind of doomed ourselves here, I think. But that, I kind of expected something like that to happen. So what we can try here, I don't know if this will work. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of screwed myself, let's put it that way. Actually, I think it got most of it. Oh, it's decaying naturally. Okay, it is decaying. It's just, it's not part of the fast code. Okay. That sucks. So, unfortunately, you have to wait for it to fall. And this happens, unfortunately, with this tool a lot. 
uh, where you can see it happening where um, the items kind of get stuck in the tree for a bit and you got to deal with that but oh crap let's not get ourselves killed but not a big deal we'll we'll lumber the rest of this later the the big piece that kind of got stuck there we just going for that there you go <laughs> so that worked out anyways gives you an idea how powerful it is now that tool completely broke instantly which is a good example of what I want to show you next for these tools which is cool is the repairing of them they don't actually broke and break and die and you know that's it game over um, they break in a very unique manner that's for sure All that oil. Can't wait to pump it, to be honest. I'm going to pump every last drop of it. Okay, so um, if we go over to our tool bench here, uh, pretty sure it's the tool bench, or was it? Yeah, it was the tool bench. Uh, you go over here and you place the material in here, and you put this in here, and it will repair it. And you can repair it faster if you do this, or you can repair it even faster. Uh, if you use heavier materials, I think it works with the extra utility compressed. I'm not sure, does it or doesn't it? For some reason, I thought it might, but we'll try it anyways. Yes, it does. So there you go. And then we're able to repair it instantly with the one, which was pretty sexy if you ask me. And it's back into the league or games, whatever. And you can repair them while they're slightly broken. And remember, you can place them on the bottom one too to... You know, finish the repair, and there you go. That's the uh, that's the the basic cobble set that's using no special metals, etc. Pretty easy, as you can see. And to me, it's it's extremely enjoyable. I really like it a lot. And then it's moving on to the metal version ones. Um, this one requires the books that aren't working, bastards. Um, there's some books that uh, you know, it's not required, but they're sometimes nice to use to get ideas. I don't know why they're not happening, but uh, materials in you, you need a piece of paper. I wonder if we ever got natural paper. Oh, I got reed here, so I'll just use that. Actually, don't you need three? I don't think it's a one. No, you need three. So there you go. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get this out of here. So the idea here is uh, I probably looked at the recipe wrong. Oh. Wait, I was like, well, what happened to it? Oh, it was up top here, that's why. There we go. These kind of get upgraded, or used to get upgraded. So this tells you some pages and information that might be useful. Um, they tell you about upgrades too, or maybe not yet on here. But there are, what is this one? Does it say turn invisible while sneaking? Oh, that's cool. So they got a little iron. You are harder to hit. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. Night vision. <laughs> they got little armors and stuff. They didn't really have that back in the day, but jump during. Uh, oh, we'll have to try these later on. That's cool. Uh, so, anyways, um, that's like the first book, and then there's a second book, Materials in You, uh, which is kind of handy, and you can upgrade it. Looks like yeah, from just doing this to this. And this one tells you the different materials. Oh, yeah. That is interesting. That's a really interesting bug. Might be Optifine. Might be something else. Kind of really ruins it for you, though, doesn't it? At least I can tell by the shapes and what it is. Uh, but you can... Uh, yeah, stone, iron. It tells you about the upgrades and their durability. Oh, this is the tool-wise, like the materials and what they give you. This looks cool. Slime crystal looks a little different than I remember. Cobalt. Um, oh yeah, these are the upgrades you can do to them. So redstone is speed, things like that. I already know all of them, anyways, off by heart, off by heart, pretty much. Just checking if there's any new ones. Uh, Ender pearl. I feel like that one was beheads mobs. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new really in that area. And then the one that is somewhat useful sometimes is the Mighty Smelting book, which I think might tell me what materials to make the metals, and that can be a little more handy. Um, 
So basically it tells you about the grout stuff, what we did. This tells you what you're supposed to do. And uh, then you can make different things here. And we're going to look here. Oh. Well, it doesn't tell you. I don't need you. I wanted to see what materials you need. But anyways, you get the idea with the book. Apparently they even have other books here. What is this? Diary of the Tinkers and something else. I don't even know what these are. Let's do it anyways. I've, I don't think I've ever looked at a green book before. Oh, Tinker's Weaponry. Huh. Is it not done or is it broken? I have no clue. Does it do anything else? Diary of the Tinker. You can pause these if you want to check them out. I'll go through them all so you can pause them if you... Somebody who actually wants to read them. You'll, if you have to, you'll have to watch it 1080p probably to see it. And then there you go. It's over. It's, it's done. <laughs> So there you go. We, we went through that little uh, bit there for you guys to see. So I want to make something called aluminum blah blah blah. Uh, let's take our aluminum and throw it in there. I think that's all you need. It might be something else as well, but we'll figure it out. Uh, the aluminum is pretty important for what we're going to do. And you guys will see why here in a minute. Um, aluminum and then oh yes that's why we have to make the metal casting of each one. So we're going to have to use this. And then we're going to need to get the other parts here. There you go. And they'll show you why here. So you're going to need one of these and then one of these. And the head's not so much. I'll probably keep them stone because that's what I do for now. Uh, so there you go. That'll make life a little easier probably. Um, I feel like we might be missing something, but maybe it's just the head, so... I think we're fine. It might not just be aluminum. It might be something else, but it might be the aluminum. So we'll find out here in a minute anyways. There you go. So you click this to switch to aluminum. It's whatever you click on the bottom to pour first. And if we right-click this, darn it. I was worried it would be that. It's mixed with something else, isn't it? Oh, no, that's uh, derp. I'm putting the pattern in there. Of course that's not going to work. You're, we made this for this reason, but yeah, that's not working either. So I got to figure out what I mix the aluminum with. Um, aluminum brass, is that what it was? Aluminum brass, or was it something else? Aluminum and copper, aluminum brass. That must be what it is then. Let's try a bit. Won't hurt to experiment. If we were wrong, we can just abort doing any more. That, that that was probably all of it right there. Was it how much copper? I didn't even see the uh, balance of it. I think it is aluminum brass, though, so I think we'll be fine. Uh, you can do this with gold, which is too expensive, I think, in a ways. But the idea is you mix aluminum and brass, I guess it was. And what we're doing is creating uh, molds. So you can pour metals into the mold and uh, create something a little stronger. So, for example, iron or steel, whatever. And actually, now I think about it, what about steel? Um, steel ingot. How hard is it to make the steel? I want to see what they make it through. Be something easy. Coal. That's it. Liquefied coal, huh? Any normal coal usage? Ooh. Pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. They want me to pulverize the coal. So it looks like it's still, I have to do something, you know, a little bit more steppy for it. But uh, yeah, we'll make steel later on. And you can make steel tools, which are a little better. Um, yeah, I thought it might have been easier than that. But I guess they were a little smart on that. They knew I was playing. That's funny. That's cool though that they kind of did that. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that one to be honest. So there you go. Um, aluminum brass. Let's try this now. Yes! There we go. Probably don't even need insane amount but that should change colors here. Or Oh there it is. And then we do it for here. 
you can see it'll dry up for the mold. And then uh, we do it for this one. Perfect. And yeah, we'll do iron for now. Uh, I kind of threw all my iron out of there, so that doesn't make it really that good. But uh, I'll get more iron here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just have to wait a few. Because I kind of went all crazy and dumped it all out of there, not thinking of this for the future. So yeah, so the idea here now is that you make your tools out of this, of course. And um, so if you place the, the big rod in there, of course, and we pour pour the right materials. You can use multiple materials, but we want to use iron, right? Uh, when you pour the iron in there, it will fill in there and it'll harden. And that's part of you know our tool. And uh, it'll just be a bit better. Give it some benefits, etc. Um, so yeah, let's click. There you go. You work your way, <laughs> which might take six hours or so, but uh, we'll we'll get there. Um, let's go ahead and replace this head or get a stone head. So I do stone for a couple benefit beneficial reasons. Uh, biggest one, I guess, on it is that you can repair it with stone, even if your materials are all made from another metal. I probably won't do that as much. I did that before, and it's like, why waste it? I mean, you get so much uh, back anyways. Might as well use something that gives you a bit more reward, and I guess in that sense, nothing too exotic. Like, you don't want to use something that's like from the end, or, you know, you can use netherrack, though. Yeah, you can use netherrack if you believe that, but... Uh, yeah, you don't want to go overly exotic, I guess, in a way, but uh, there you go. So uh, we did that one. Let's get this down. So we're making, oh yeah, we're making the uh, hammerhead. So two more, or one more of this. Let it cool. Then one more. You can it, it's you can do it by this without going by that, but uh, of course that makes it a little harder. But it does work to understand how it's going pattern wise. There you go. So this one has a lot more durability, which is probably the big thing here, and it's probably about the same mining speed. Actually, two thirteen. And uh, I didn't show you this last time. I was going to show you this, but let's do that this time. I was going to tell you how... Actually, here, I'll show you one thing. Um, it's a bit of a waste on this, but... How many emeralds do I have? Uh, actually, this is a quite of a waste. You know what? I won't do it on this one. Uh, but emerald will give you 50% more durability. So instead, it would be like over 3,000. Kind of cool, but I decided I'd rather save this. So yeah, this one's 213. This one was 1. 1.6. But the more you mine with uh, this the faster it become because of the stone uh, head on it. Because it has some special little basically beneficial enchant called stone uh, whatever. But you can see it didn't mine this. It has crappy mining amount. Uh, so if we go here, 20, 223 now. So you see it's getting a little faster and faster. Um, it can't mine a lot of materials because of its poor quality in a sense. How do you fix that? Very easy. Uh, it'll give it 500 durability, and it'll give itself the ability to mine everything pretty much. You give it a piece of diamond. Uh, not everything, but quite a bit of everything, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> we go over here and do that. So we go ahead and place this puppy in here, give it the upgrade material. So let's see the modifier here. So you see its durability will change quite a bit there. Um, actually, did it only give it like 400 or so? Yeah. There you go. And if you want it faster, you give it redstone. We haven't gotten to redstone yet. I have to mine some. But yeah. So you guys get the idea. And then you can put the emerald on and give it a little bit more durability. And you know what? Forget. Let's do it. We're here for a long time. If we got to get another emerald, screw it. There you go. And then you have one more upgrade left. So I'll probably put redstone for speed. Uh, eventually you'll want to put like lapis for fortune. Yes, fortune exists. Uh, but I'll do it f this way. And uh, later on I will go ahead and we'll create a new one. And we'll use the lapis, etc. Um, I'll probably make something like maybe a steel one or something around those lines. But um, yeah, so this is my new little hammer. And uh, now it can mine, say, the uh, marble without any much impact. This food of mine. 
What kind of noob does this? Um, there you go. Does the marble now. Now, it probably won't do the marble like this. I lied, it does. That's cool. One thing it might not do is... I'm kind of interested. I want to see... Uh, statistics is a fun little part of the game you can play around with. Uh, we've mined... Um, let's see. Times crafted, times mined. So we've done 308 smooth stone. Let's see what happens. 309, 310 is what it used to do. Um, let's see if that has changed. Three, oh no, it has not changed. Brilliant. Um, 309, 310, yeah. So it definitely did the amount that was correct, it looks like there, which is awesome. And I think uh, you can't, it doesn't do modded blocks as far as I know. Um, so you can't see the modded ones on here, but it will show the vanilla blocks, which is kind of cool. So you can get an idea of like how much iron you've done or how much snow stone. And it's kind of a fun little statistic thing just to keep yourself entertained, let's put it that way, over time. Let's move on to, uh, let's do a little finale and look at uh, bags here. So now you, you've got an idea of the small tree, how to make the tools, make the upgrades. Um, let's move to something completely different and let's do iron bags. Sort of like an iron chest, but iron bags. And uh, backpacks, sorry. And uh, yeah, we should have the right materials for this. And you have upgrades for this now. Cowhides, I should have enough of them here. Oh, you got to be crapping me. They just got to be misplaced or something. I, I would assume I would have had ridiculous amounts of those by now. When do you guys think I would have had enough cowhides? I think I'm being cheated, guys. I think I'm being cheated. Oh, 30. I thought it said 3. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> Don't call me a blind person. I am blind, you know. Legally, I am technically blind. I wear glasses, so... That's what they call people like me. A guy wears gla glasses, you're like legally blind. Actually, I don't know if that's actually term. Legally blind Canada. Um, okay, less than 20 slash 200 vision uh, with the help of glasses or contacts losing. Having 20 200 means that the person cannot be more than 6 point meter away to see a person with normal vision can see from 200 feet away. What legally doesn't mean the person cannot see at all. People are legally blind or often some vision, but their field of vision might be narrow or blurry or have blind spots and glasses cannot see. Uh, spots that glasses cannot correct. Being definitely blind restricts the person's ability to obtain. Uh, low visibility aid and other benefits to help improve. Oh, okay. So I'm not legally blind. Thank God. Apparently you can't have a driver's license. I have had one of those for a while. Um, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Iron. Or, oh, God. They're small. Oh, God. I didn't realize they were so small. So you could upgrade them, of course. But I didn't realize they were so small to begin with. Uh, where's my iron? It's up here, right? Yeah. Let's get this uh, iron going here. Oh, crap. I didn't realize they were that small. So that won't ha happen because, sadly, you can click that. Um, this has, like, a damage entity or I don't know, whatever, something like that. So it doesn't automatically uh, move up like that. There you go. So how big are these? Eh, better. And then you can go the gold ones, etc. And then you have upgrades. You can put things in these, like, uh, hold shift for more information. Add buttons, quickly move your backpack as well as buttons to sort your backpack uh, allows you to place any backpack or previous tier inside the backpack as damage bar uh, how much the backpack's full as a community lens the backpack will automatically collect oh. uh, allows you to just let item keep stock in your inventory or hot bar allows you to set a set of items to press oh look at that compressed upon entering Oh boy, that's some expensive stuff. What about uh, this one here? Basic filtering. Treated leather. Oh boy. Okay, so there's a lot of upgrades for that. But you can see it's a lot of cool stuff. Additional upgrades and ore dictionary filters. and It does a whole bunch of crap you can do with it, which makes it very interesting, I guess, in that sense. 
to uh, store stuff. So I wanted to show that off anyways. I'll probably eventually just use Ender Pouch and friggin', you know, uh, system the suck crap out into the system and you know me. But uh, either way, that's a really cool mod. I wanted to share that with you. Um, I think Electra's actually really happy that I added that. When I told him about it, I think he was uh, <laughs> as a 30-year-old man. I think he had like the little tw winkles or whatever they used to call them in your eye kind of thing. You know, he was he seemed really happy about it, so I was happy to add it. Um, but yeah, so I think that'll wrap this episode. I'll probably do quite a bit of mining now, and uh, I'll start collecting some of that marble and stuff. And I'm gonna get down deeper and get down to that. Uh, round 12 and start mining too so I can get some more of the rare materials like lapis etc and then uh, we'll look into probably honestly next time might be getting more advanced of my tools maybe we'll look into something else but it's more honestly I want to advance my tools a bit more over time that's kind of my goal but uh, yeah I think that's uh, that'll wrap it so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoy this please don't forget to subscribe comment like we'll see you wonderful people next time